Welcome to this quick start guide for AE Global Renamer 2, which is a complete rewrite based on all the user feedback we received from the previous versions. The first and most important uh, piece of feedback was that screen UI real estate is very important. So we really worked hard on getting the UI footprint as small as possible. So as you can see, you can really shrink this down to even smaller than the info palette, which is pretty amazing. So you can just keep it docked there all of the time. Uh, we also changed the UX flow. So the user experience is much simpler to use now. It's a top to bottom flow. So that what you do is you say, for example, I want to search and rename project panel items in the entire project. So for example, here I have uh, a bunch of comps that are called a global renamer. And now let's say I want to change the word global to local. And then I can just say I want to select rename or rename and select I'm going to say rename, hit all, and you can see that it quickly renamed them all uh, just like that. And the options you have here are you can either search and rename. And of course, you can always undo. Or you could just say add a prefix or suffix. So for example, I could just, uh, I'm going to delete here and I'm just going to say, uh, you know, I can say uh, I'm going to do a, a suffix, you know, final or something. And you can just go. And now when you hit next, instead of all, it just does the first one. So as you can see there, I actually put it at the bottom because it resorted it. But you can see here how it just added a suffix final. And when it, we can undo that as well. Uh, or you can say, uh, do a prefix and at, and to do it like that as well. So here you can see it's the prefix. So I'm going to undo that as well. Okay. So that's the first pull down. You can search and rename or you can add prefix and suffix x2. And now this is all of the areas that you can change and we added some new ones. We added uh, so we always had project panel item names which are the panel uh, the project panels here, so all these names. And it's not just comps, it can be footage items, folders, etc. You can change the name of layers inside of your comp. So now what's cool about the new version is once you switch this, the options here in the third pull down, which is sort of which ones change depending on what's selected. So here when you have layer names, you can select uh, or you can rename all the layers in the active comp, all the selected layers in the active comp. So let's say, for example, I only want to rename these three. So here I can change this to uh, search and rename. And we can again go from global to local. If we need to go to rename. Have these four selected here. I can just say we want to have just the selected layers in the active comp. So it just does these and not these down here. So then you can now do uh, text and text layers. So we can turn on, for example, here this text layer. So we can here also do the same thing now. Uh, again, in selected layers, in all layers, uh, in the active comp, in the selected comp. So for example, I could select all the comps here and it will look for text layers in all of the comps that you have selected or in the entire project. So it'll just look for every, it'll look through every comp in the entire project for text layers and do the change. So in this case, we'll go ahead and select all layers in the active comp. And you can see here how it just changed the, the text of the text layer. Uh, you can change the names of effects. Uh, this one's pretty cool because uh, let's say, for example, I have here a uh, slider control. And we'll go ahead and copy this and paste it to all of these layers. So we'll go ahead and open this up. So now we can say, uh, you can, for example, uh, same thing. You can select it in all the layers, the selected layers. We'll do all the layers, and we'll all, here we'll change the name slider to local, and we'll go ahead and rename them all. So you can see how now it renamed all of the um, effect names. And uh, then we have property names. And what's cool about property names is you can uh, just rename the selected properties or you can rename the selected properties and their children. So let's say, for example, you have a, say for example, a shape layer here. So this is called Polystar. So I want to, for example, uh, rename, and, and let's say, for example, let's just say I have two Polystars. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So that, okay. So we'll go ahead and put these two into a group and move these two poly stars into the group just so that you guys can see how it works with the children. So we'll, we'll also name the group poly star 
group. So we can go ahead and say uh, selected properties. So we're going to change polystar to local. So you can see here now it only changed what I had selected. But I'm going to go undo this. But you can now say in the selected layers and their children. So if we open this up, you'll see that anything that's named polystar, we'll go ahead uh, and do all now. You see how it now renamed everything that was downstream, you know, the children of them to name. So that's very cool. Uh, you can now also search and rename expressions and then um, output file paths. So this is uh, stuff that you have in the render queue. You can rename either queued or unqueued items. Uh, other new features. Uh, if you open this up a little bit, you can see here that we have a little gear icon. So you have some options now. You can match the case, use rejects as you could before, uh, and rename duplicate only. So let me uh, show you the other the other cool thing. So for example, let's say I want to say the duplicates only. If I click this on here, you'll now see that there's these actual icons here. So this is match case, this is use rejects, and this is duplicate only. So you can now much faster just click on these icons here and turn them on and off depending on how you want the uh, search to work. So for example, duplicates only, uh, we're going to see here that we have all of these layers. So these are all duplicates of themselves. But let's say I wanted to leave the first one um, just, well, so you can see here now they're not all duplicates. But let's say I'm going to just rename these two duplicates. So I'm going to say uh, search, we're going to search and rename layer names in the all the layers in the comp. And we're going to search for global. And we're going to rename it local. So, but only duplicates. So go ahead and hit OK or all. So you can see now how it only renamed the two duplicates and it left the original one. Okay, so now let's say you want to go ahead and save this search. You can go now into our new, our new feature here, which is save to presets. So as you can see, it has automatically saved all of the things that we had already searched for. So if we go back to Polystar, you just select it and it just loads it up. But we can now save to presets. So it actually asks you, what do you want to call this? So you can just give it any name. And it'll show now up here in your presets. If you want to delete it, you just hold down the Alt key. And you can just delete by selecting the one you want to delete. And it just keeps the ones you want. So it's easy to keep track of your presets this way. And uh, as before, if you hit this plus, it adds uh, a second search pair. So you can have it, for example, search for um, First, you wanted to have it search local and change it to, uh, I don't know, dog. And then we can have it search promo or, you know, promo and it <laughs> Lomo. So now it'll, uh, it'll search the first pair first and then it'll search the second pair and so on. And you can add an infinite number of pairs and then you can also just remove them by hitting the minus. And what's cool is here is you can actually um, pull your presets into any of the pairs that you want. Uh, and then th this really comes in handy when you're doing things like uh, rejects. So let's go ahead and delete here. And you're like, what is rejects? Well, rejects is a super powerful uh, syntax language that you can find information for online. But let's say, for example, here I wanted to uh, change it so that Comp one was at the beginning here, and then the name of it was afterwards. So what I could do is I can say I want to turn on rejects, and I want to look for AE global renamer uh, two, and then promo, and then comp, and then instead of entering the number one, this is where rejects comes in handy. I want to look for any number from zero to nine. And then I'm going to add a little asterisk, which says it could be more than one number. And then I'm going to capture uh, both the comp part. So I'm going to put a parenthesis here. And I'm going to just capture this into what's called a group. And I'm going to do the same for the beginning part. So this first part is going to be one group. And then this is going to be a second group. And what I can do is call those groups with the dollar sign one and dollar sign two. So if I want to reverse the order, I can just type dollar sign two, which means it's going to give me 
this second capture group, and then I'm going to just go and add a dash, for example, and then put the first capture group. So I'm going to now search and rename the project panel items and all the entire project. That means I'm going to rename them all. And I'm going to go ahead and hit all. Oh, it's doing duplicates only. I'm turning that off. So you can see how now it renamed the uh, order of how this was named. It moved the comp one to the beginning, and then it put this at the end, which is really cool. Uh, then let's say, for example, I could, let's just get rid of, I just want to get rid of the, the comp one part, for example. I could just, I could have just, I'm going to undo here. And I'm just going to say, uh, I just want to take the first part, which is the part one, and then I say I want to rename them uh, with something, uh, you know, let's say I don't like comp one and I want it to have padded zeros instead of just regular ones. So if you hit help, by the way, uh, sorry, the little question mark, you'll see all of the help. And you can see here that we have special keywords that allow you to insert certain things. So I can use this keyword called num, and depending on how many numbers you add afterwards is how it will pad it. So I can go ahead and add dash, open bracket, num, equals and then you tell it what number you want to start counting at so I want it to start counting at one but with two padded zeros so I'm going to do zero zero one and I'm going to do close bracket and so this should actually now uh, rename and renumber them so actually I'm going to put the number at the beginning so I'm just going to copy this here and push this at the beginning and then put the dash and I'm going to go ahead and rename them all so here you can see now it renamed it zero zero one and then the name and so on. So rejects can be very powerful. We can't cover all the options of, of rejects now, but if you leave comments uh, with your exact rejects problem, I am always willing to try and help and uh, solve the rejects expression. Uh, so I think that's everything. Uh, of course, you can now rename and select, or you can just select or just rename. And uh, there's also a cool log. So if I show the log and I open this up, you can, you're going to need more real estate for this, but you can see here. Uh, that uh, how it shows all the stuff that we renamed and it just keeps track of everything that we've been renaming. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, clear the log or export the log. Uh, so that's really, it's really handy. Uh, you can see here, this is the last thing we did here. Uh, so you can uh, export this to a text file if that's helpful. Uh, oh, and there's also this fixed expressions. In the previous version, it always fixed expressions, but it made it uh, much slower. Now, if you are not really concerned about fixing expressions, it, it runs much faster. But if you are renaming something that might break an expression, then just check fix expressions, and it will fix the expression with the new renamed string so that your expressions keep working. So that's the uh, quickish start guide for AE Global Renamer. Hope you guys enjoy it.